What's up everybody, Alex from Twin Gaming TV, back with another MLB The Show 17 video. Today we're continuing our most recent Battle Royale team. We are 3-1 with this team. Probably going to play two games in this video. I'm going to try to make it two unless it goes like to extras or it's a super long game. Something like that, but looking to go 5-1 and one in this video. However, if we do lose, that's going to be it for the video. And then the next video I bring will probably be a Battle Royale draft. I'm not ready to draft a new team though. I really want to win some more games. I want to try and get to at least nine, but I have to win six games in a row. So we'll see if I can do that. I'm hoping i can but we're obviously taking it one game at a time looking to win our fourth this guy has 94 carlos ruiz 81 at bagwell 89 aaron hill trevor ploof troy Tulowitzki, and 98 luis gonzalez lane adams scott shubler and zach godley on the mound we got ralph stevenson on the mound we are the home team and again we have that jake lamb leading us off against his righty starting pitcher dang man two quick outs we got two outs on the first two pitches of the game and then this guy gets a base hit. But that's okay. We're probably going to bring in one of our relievers now. He has a righty up to bat and then another righty and then a lefty. So we'll probably just bring in Chris Davinsky right here. See if he can get us out of the inning. And uh, he does have that 98 Luis Gonzalez up after his next batter. So in like two batters. He's in the hole right now. And uh, we're going to have to be careful to him. But we'll just see what we do here and if we get out of the inning. One pitch from our reliever and one out. I wasn't sure if I was going to make that play, but we're going to the bottom of the first inning. We gave up a base hit. Nothing really going on for him, though. Looking for Jake Lamb to have a pretty good start with the leadoff spot. Oh, there we go. Joe Carter. I thought that was going to be like a more of a line drive, uh, but I'm happy with it, man. I'm happy with the outcome. We got a two out base hit just like him. We have the lefty versus his righty, our diamond, Adrian Gonzalez, up to bat. Looking to make something happen here with two down, bottom of the first inning. That's going to be three pretty quick outs there in the top of the second for us. Really want to get some runs, man. I just got to start making a little bit better contact and uh, waiting for the pitch I'm looking for rather than swinging at something like outside the zone like I did with that Adrian Gonzalez pitch. There we go. That's not bad. It's not bad at all, man. <laughs> not bad at all. Almost a home run. Going to only be a single, though. Dang, man. I really wanted a home run there. But, I mean, I'll take it. Lead-off single from uh, Deion and Navarro. Not bad. Oh, that's going to be a wild pitch. Get our runner to second base. I don't know what he's doing with his catcher. Uh, we're going to third. No, I'm not going to go to third. Okay. I guess he was trying to get us to do that. That was really weird. Jonathan Scope now into the outfield. That was a that was a really nice hit. Oh my goodness. Jonathan Scope with a double into the outfield. We took the lead one to nothing. We have a solid bullpen. And I think we're gonna be able to hold on for the victory here. Just gotta make sure we don't allow any runs in the top of the third now. Oh my goodness. David Peralta now getting a double. Maybe we'll see. Yeah, that's gonna be a double for David Peralta into the outfield. Two to nothing lead for us. Not a bad inning so far, man. We're actually starting to hit the ball now. It feels good. I just realized, so that's going to get a run into the third, but I just realized that I think his starting pitcher is still in the game. I don't know if that's a smart decision for him. All right, we have Chris Davinsky up to bat. This guy has lefty, righty, righty following, uh, I guess one of them's his pitcher maybe. But still, man, I'm going to bring in a pinch hitter, probably do like Jock Peterson right here, and then just bring in our lefty to start off versus lefty in the top of the third, especially since we only have one out and a runner on third base right now. I feel like we really need this uh, this run here. Just get a, get a third run, get an insurance run, and just don't pay attention to that ball that I swung in out of the zone. I, I don't know what I was doing there. Oh, Jock Peterson grounding out to the first base. Oh, wow. Uh, this guy tried to dive to first base or something. I don't know, man. That was really weird. Jake Lamb now with a three-run home run, no doubt about it. Uh, 400 average, 41 homers now. Probably like a 401 average for Jake Lamb, but I don't really know what he was doing there. Uh, with that dive, I'm not really sure what he was doing. We just took a 5 to nothing lead, though, so I'll take that for sure. Like I said, we're going to bring in our lefty, then his pitcher spots up to bat. I don't know if he'll be pinch hitting for his pitcher because uh, he never took him out. We scored five runs. I don't know why starting pitcher's still in the game, but I'm not going to complain about it. Oh, my goodness. I was not expecting him to make that catch at all. Two outs away from the victory. Wow. I really was not expecting that. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. All right, I, I like to give people three Mississippis before... Uh, before I pitch their pitcher if they keep him in. And that's already the second out 
of the top of the third inning. He has his leadoff guy, the 94, I believe, Carlos Ruiz, up to bat. So we got him swinging on the first two pitches with cutters inside. Let's go for the curveball. Strike three. There we go. GG to this guy. We're going to go ahead and bring you guys the second game. Try and get to 5-1. and one. We're currently 4-1. and one. I just realized with our, uh, our team, we drafted this before the last roster update. So we have Jose Reyes. He's a diamond. We have Joe Carter. He's a gold. We have Adrian Gonzalez, and he's a diamond. So that's two diamonds and a gold. Then you go to our bullpen, and we have Chris Davinsky, a gold. And then you go to our lineup again, though, and Jonathan Scope just went gold this week. So we actually have three golds and two diamonds on our team. That's kind of nice. That's awesome. Uh, I, I didn't even realize that until just now that we actually got kind of lucky with the previous roster update. This guy has Brian Dozier, DJ LeMayhew, 90 Justin Upton, 99 David Wright, 84 Canerico, 87 Cliff Floyd, 84 Odubel Herrera, Chris Iannetta, the 87 one, and Jeff Hoffman on the wet mound. We got Bartolo Colon on the mound, the rookie one, and then look at that. Man, we got two golds, two diamonds in our lineup, and then like I showed you guys, a gold in the bullpen. That's awesome. So we had him uh, one, two, three inning in the first. Nothing really happened in there, and then he just walked my Jose Ray. Is, and we have Joe Carter up to bat. He bought, he brought Bartolo Colon in. I'm pretty sure it's live series Bartolo in after the first batter. He got Jake Lamb out and then brought in Bartolo. I thought Bartolo was the starting pitcher, but did his position get changed now that he's on the, I believe, Twins? Uh, did he get changed to a relief pitcher? Joe Carter now. That was a hit and run, but I think we're only going to get to third base. I could have actually probably got home. If there was no slide there. If I was just going home from the get-go, I might have been able to get actually home. Uh, but we ended up sliding and slowing down a second base. But we have runners on the corners now. Only one down with our Adrian Gonzalez. 92 overall up to bat. That should be deep enough to score the run. Oh, that's definitely going to be deep enough. 97 speed. We're taking the lead pretty early on. Oh, my God. He just did that little. I'm pretty sure that's like a glitch or whatever. Where you jump up and it makes the person's lead runner. Or not lead runner, but like you jump up and it made my runner go to second base. I don't know. Maybe that's not a glitch, but that's weird that my runner went to second base by himself. All right, we have Cliff Floyd down 0-2. Oh, I'm going to go with the changeup in the dirt. So Bartolo, our starting pitcher, is still in. He had a 1-2-3 inning. He's one strike away from a 1-2-3 inning again. Six up, six down for that rookie Bartolo. This game's looking like a pretty easy W here. Just got to get some more insurance runs now here in the bottom of the second inning. There we go, David Peralta getting that one down the line for a double. <laughs> this guy doesn't seem to know. I mean, actually, no. Maybe it was the, yeah, it was the last guy I played that was kind of doing the same thing in the outfield. These uh, opponents I've been playing don't really seem to know exactly how to field the ball in the outfield. It's weird. Oh, wow. I probably shouldn't have swung at that. Um... This is it. yo, this is this is kind of crazy. Oh no 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 no! Oh, oh, we're gonna just go to third now. We were actually safe. Oh my goodness, I'm surprised we were actually saved in that pickle. Wow, that's kind of crazy. So Bartolo, I'm gonna let him bat, man. There's one down. I'm just gonna let rookie Bartolo bat here. One down, runner on third. I'm just gonna try and get a complete game shutout with him. So all right, that's strike one. I'm trying to fool him a little bit just by bunting like this. I'm trying to just fool him a little bit, and make him throw a ball. Uh, but he worked it from 3-0 and to 3-2. and Now let's see what he decides to do here. Okay, not going to be ball four, but it's going to be a base hit. Bartolo getting himself an RBI. Two runners on for Jake Lamb against Edwin Diaz. Let's see if he brings in the lefty or keeps in this righty for Jake Lamb. Oh, Jake Lamb going the other way with that one. No doubt about it. He had a three-run homer the first game, and he has a three-run homer this game. Oh, my goodness. I'm very glad. I decided to draft Jake Lamb for this team as he throws it behind Jose Reyes. And now he hits Jose Reyes, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm assuming those pitches weren't on accident. All right, the umpire just issued a warning to both benches. He just hit Jose Reyes, threw one behind him, then hit him. And now the first two pitches have been inside to Joe Carter. And he quit. We're going to get the victory there. Five to nothing. Made him quit. I'll definitely take that. We are now five and one with this team. I'm feeling pretty good with this team, man. Uh, I don't even remember what happened in the loss. I don't remember what happened. Uh, it was so long ago. We're five and one with this team, though. One win away from Andrew Benatendi. 
I'm gonna go ahead and see if I've done the mission for Battle Royale because I know I was getting close I'm just gonna see if I've actually done the mission yet or how close we are and uh, we did we did both the AL and NL hit So I think I was one away from the AL and four away from the NL so I'll definitely take that man We're gonna open both of these packs here in this video and hopefully we can get a good pull in those packs are the all-star packs uh, the bases loaded from June 30th I don't remember exactly what they have in them, but we'll just read about it So this has three player items including a guaranteed all-star series legend or flashback plus a guaranteed stars and stripes equipment item collect all six stars and stripes items to unlock all-star flashback Matt Kemp I want to see the ones that are expensive real quick. I just want to check the equipment. I know I could have clicked equipment there my bad uh, I just want to check I know it's the bat and something else so the bat and the gloves we really want the bat we really want to get the bat and both of them are one of them but we'll take the under armor gloves as well uh from these packs so we have two of them and we're gonna go ahead and open those right now let's see if we can get something good 88 jason worth i don't know how much he's going for i'm gonna write this down just to see uh see him on the community mark it after this so 88 all-star jason worth 88 as Jason all right now let's see the equipment I'm pretty sure it's like the elbow guard I think I saw it yeah it's the uh the elbow guard that kind of sucks man we didn't get the bat or the gloves hoping our second one can give it to us oh we got a diamond yo we actually pulled a diamond let's go dude oh my goodness we actually pulled a diamond bro I wasn't expecting that at all no way okay Whew, what are we gonna get boys? Oh my god. Let's see. Oh, I think it might be like a 92 I didn't really see the overall but we're gonna see 94 Carlos Ruiz. No way. Oh, dude clickbait title. Yes. Oh My goodness, man. Oh, baby Carlos Ruiz Dude, that's a crazy we actually pulled a diamond. No way and we got the elbow guard again. That's okay, though we actually pulled a diamond. All right, time to check the community market for those guys. So 88 and uh, a 94. So we'll just put the max at 94 and the minimum. Oopsies. The minimum at 88. And they're both all-star flashbacks. I'm really hoping the Carlos Ruiz is worth something because that would be awesome. Uh, just some nice stubs from a free pack. So 94 Carlos Ruiz. Eh, I'll take it. That's not a lot of stubs, but I'll definitely take that, man. That's... uh. That's like a 20,000 sub card, you could say. That's awesome. We pulled a diamond, 20,000 subs. It's not the best, but from a free pack, from getting 75 hits in BR, getting like 20,000 subs, I'll definitely take that, man. And then we also got Jason Worth. He's worth like 6,000. Dang, man. So we pulled uh, about 26,000 subs worth of cards. I'll definitely take that. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, comment anything down below. Sorry if the title seemed clickbaity at all or was really only for a small portion of the video but we did pull a diamond man i'll definitely take that um that's awesome it's not every day that you pull a diamond so i'm very happy about that especially for free packs getting like now twenty six thousand subs worth of players i'll definitely take that and i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching peace out